Welcome to Monobiology. Today we're going to look at a process that's important to meiosis called crossing over. Crossing over is one of two major processes that happens during meiosis that add genetic variety to sexual organisms. Remember that meiosis is the process of making gametes. And the objective of making gametes is to make sure that we produce sex cells that have 23 chromosomes for humans, or the haploid number of chromosomes in general for all organisms that are sexual. What crossing over allows an organism to do is to create a little bit more genetic variety. Crossing over is the process that occurs during prophase 1, when homologous chromosomes overlap in a process called synapsis. During this overlapping, or synapsis, homologous chromosomes trade pieces of DNA, at least one gene length of DNA. Let's see what, this, what happens as we go from prophase to metaphase. So this is meant to be an arrow here. If you're drawing these pictures, which I recommend that you do, please feel free to ignore this arrow and draw your own. That's better than that. Let's look at what happens during metaphase. So as you can see, crossing over has now occurred. Crossing over occurred during prophase 1. I couldn't really show you, but now that we're in metaphase 1, you can see. The homologous chromosomes, as indicated here, have swapped portions of DNA. Now remember, homologous chromosomes are chromosomes that are similar to each other. I drew them blue and pink just to, just to, just to show you that they are, are different, but also so that I could show you the difference here when they swap. How I tell these two sets of chromosomes apart is that these ones are bigger and these ones are smaller in terms of their length. But the, this one and this one are the same length, and this one and this one are the same length as each other, which makes them homologous. Okay, So as you can see, in metaphase 1 of meiosis, they're lined up in the center, so the split that's going to occur in anaphase 1 is going to happen right here. Now we're going to draw two little arrows, one going this way. I might as well do it in pen. One going this way and one going that way. And what we're going to end up with is the two cells in telophase 1. Here's what the cells, the final cells, would look like. Notice we started with four chromosomes. Now we only have two in each cell, the haploid number. So the haploid number for these, I'm going to change my color here, the haploid number for these, so the 2n number, the diploid number was 4. The haploid number is now 2. And that's what it should be, right? It should be half of what we have. That way when a sperm and an egg join, we end up back with the diploid number, which is 4. Okay? Let's see now what we end up with. This is the end of telophase 1. You can see they're, they're different. But the important thing is, is that what we're going to end up with in the end is four genetically different gametes. No two gametes will be the same when, telophase, when crossing over occurs. Let's have a look. Okay, so we skip all the way down to telophase 2. From telophase 1, basically you guys remember meiosis 2 is essentially just mitosis of the, of the haploid cells. So that's all I, I'm not going to show all those steps go right to the end, and our first cell produced these two gametes here. I'm going to undo that really quick because I don't want that writing on there. Produced these two cells here, and our second cell produced these two cells here. Notice that no two cells are the same, creating four genetically different gametes. Now here's the cool thing about crossing over. It's completely random when and where it occurs. Think about humans. Humans have 23 sets of chromosomes. Crossing over can occur in 1 to 23 of them, in multiple places, top and bottom of the chromosomes, or not at all. It's completely random, and that's what adds some genetic variety to the process. So it's, it's highly unlikely that any two gametes, whether they be sperm cells or egg cells, are going to be identical. That, in a nutshell, is the process of crossing over, a process that adds genetic variety to sexual organisms during meiosis.